guess this is the conclusion of your high school career, man. Uh, what's, what's the day like for you, man? Special. I mean, I signed my life to Virginia Tech now, so I'm a Hokie right now, so I'm excited. You just feel good. I'm getting, finally getting ready for college athletes, so it's just exciting. You know, this is what we coach for. Uh, at least that's what I coach for, you know, to send kids off to school, get the education paid for, you know, so they can turn into men after they're done. I'm trying to leave soon as summer school starts, like around May, so I'm trying to leave early, so I know I'm going to go up there a lot and learn the playbook and stuff. They send me all that stuff, but uh, I know uh, I'm going to be taking visits there so I can uh, develop as a player, and when I come in there, I know everything, all the schemes and what they're learning, so I'm going really to lose a step, and I'm trying to go in there during May, so hopefully I can do that. If I can't, it'll be in June. What do you think is going to be the biggest change from high school to college? Uh, just the pace. The pace is about to turn up and everything, the intensity is about to turn up. So I think I'm ready for this switch. I think they're going to do well. Uh, I think they're going to do well from the, some of the things that we instilled in them while they were here. Uh, we, try to, we try to teach them life lessons through football. Uh, so to take off to college, like I said, that's the goal. Um, and they're not the only ones. Uh, by, the, by, the end of, by the end of the spring, we should have had about four, we should have about four or five more kids that's going off to college. We're just waiting on a few scores and a few uh, grades right now. So it's going to be it's going to be more. So you know, I'm even I'm gonna be even more proud about the spring. <laughs> All right, the million dollar question is, how come you couldn't talk Daz into going to Tech, man? Ah, man. I mean, Daz, Daz is Daz, you know. That's my boy. I know he had to go to the school best for him, so he felt like North Carolina was. So I don't do nothing with respect, man. And just know the Devin and Daz series is going to continue in college. So we just going to continue going at it. We play them every year for the coastal, the coastal title, so I wish them the best of luck. Of all the schools that recruited you, why did you choose St. Andrews? Oh, when I was there, like, the, the atmosphere was just, like, amazing. It was quiet, like, it was peaceful. And then on top of all of that, like they told me when I was there, how many times do you have your chance to put your footprint on something and say you're the first something to do anything? Like, there I'll be the first quarterback ever in school history there. So first pass, first touchdown. First rushing yards, all that is, is is a blessing. Why is it important to hold events like this for kids who are signing their national letters of intent? Um, to, tr to let them know, you know, it, that what they did is special, and also for the other kids, you know, to come in and watch them go through this, so they can have a goal to get to this point of, uh, one day in their life. So, you know, Devin and Keyshawn signing today. The, you see, uh, the rest of my football team was here, so they can see it. So, come a year or two from now, I can have a few more doing the same thing with them. All right, man, not only are you, you have this uh, scholarship to tech, but, man, once you get there, you're going to have to put in the work. Are you ready to put in the work and become a man's man up there? No, no doubt. I'm working right now at it. Every day I'm training to get better and reach my goals. So, you know, coming in there is not going to be easy. I know I'm going to be challenged, challenged and developed, so I'm just ready for the challenge and ready to compete against the best. Now that the recruiting process is over, how excited are you? Is it a relief off your shoulders? Yes, sir, definitely, because now that I know exactly where I'm going, I know where I'm going in life. It's just it's about everything about to get a whole lot easier, about to get back in the gym and just everything. It's a lot of relief because it, this is one of the hardest processes I went through in my entire life. Turning down a lot of great programs and a lot of great coaches that, that you see on TV holding up national championships and big rings on their fingers. But I picked the school that I feel like I could develop the most and I feel like I can make the most impact as a player. So that's my main goal is to choose in the college I want to attend. You're getting ready to compete at a uh, college level, man. Are you up to the challenge? Definitely. Talk, what is it going to take for you not only to compete, but to compete and be successful? Uh, just stay focused. That's the main thing. Coach Ferry, Coach TJ, all them. They helped me get – I got the talent. They definitely helped me get the talent and the, and the smarts for it. So now I just got to go out there and do it. We'll be back here next year doing the same thing. May not be as many because I don't have many seniors, but the goal is to at least get one kid out of here each year, and that way you know you're doing your job. What do you think a day like today means for your parents? No, it means a lot to them. It definitely does because I've been doing it for so long that they finally get to see it. So.